management is a process of designing and maintaining an environment in which individuals or groups that work together to achieve their targets. Different scholars from different disciplines views and interpret management from their own angles. The economics consider management as a resources like land, labor, capital and organization. Management has been defined in different ways. While Henry Fayol said that manage management is a forecast to plan, to organize, to command, to coordinate and control activities of others. Management also defined as the process by which a cooperative groups direct actions toward common goals. Record management is the supervision and admiration of digital or records papers regardless of format. Records management activities include the receipt, creation, maintenance, and disposal of records. The goals help an organization keep the necessary documentation accessible. The type of record management such as letter, voucher, check, price list, personal records, and tech records. For the kids, employers have been determined what is important to both themselves and their organization. The result have been that paper records were stated systematically filed in the drawers and file cabinets. With electronic records, there have been exponential increase in the volume of information that passes across our desk and computer screens. Electronic records are more difficult than paper records. Business record is accounting sources document, client and customer's record, cost in information, ledgers and files. Type of business records such as accounting records, bank statement, legal document, permit and license, insurance document. Record management system, RMS, is the management records for an organization throughout the record life cycle. The activities in management include the maintenance, systematic, efficient control of creation and destruction of the record along with the business transaction. Consider a key component of record management, operational efficiency, add more value to organization information asset. Part of a company broader activities, record management is associated with risk, governance and compliance policies. Activities involved in records management are identifying the information which needs to be captured, information planning for the organization, enforcement of policies and practices regard the, regarding creation, maintenance, disposal of record, creation of the record storage plan, classification and storing the record, and coordinating of providing internal and external access to the record keeping in view of data privacy and business and data coefficients confidentially. ISO standards in 2009, it defines record management RM as the field of management responsible for the efficient and systematic control of the creation, use and disposition of record receipt maintenance, including the processes for capturing and maintaining evidence and information about business activities and transactions in the form of records. ERM, Electronic Record Management, ensures your organization has the records it needs when they are needed. Electronic record is an information record by a computer, for instance, email, word document, spreadsheet, database, and digital image. Function of electronic record management in organization. The first one is create. The first point is capture. The main function of electronic record management system is to capture, classify, and identify the record to ensure the content, structure, and contact of creation are finished in time and space. The next point is record aggregation. Aggregation of electronic record are accumulation of related electronic record entities that when combined may exist at a level above 
that of a singular electronic record object. The next one is identification. To verify their existence within the system, every record and associated aggregation must have a unique identifier persistently linked to it. This allows the user to, re to locate record and helps them to distinguish between version. The next one is classification. Within electronic record management system implementation, aggregation are often used to enable inheritance of characteristic to record created or related at a lower level of aggregation. The last one is business classification scheme. A business classification scheme is a conceptual hierarchical classification tool that can facilitate the capture, titling, retrieval, maintenance, and disposition of record. It defines the way in which records are grouped together and linked to the business contact in which they were created or transmitted. The next one is maintain. The first point is managing authentic and reliable records. Record capture into electronic record management system must be actively maintained to ensure their continued accessibility, establishing appropriate security controls, building in disposal outcome and enabling the management of hybrid records, facilitate comprehensive, authentic, usable, tamper-proof and appropriately disposed record. The next one is control and security. Record capture into electronic record management system must be protected against intentional or accidental alteration of the content, structure, and context throughout their life to retain their authenticity. The next one is hybrid record management. Agency typically manage records that span a range of electronic and non-electronic media. Electronic record management system must be able to, to ingest and maintain record management metadata relating to non-electronic record as well as electronic record and any associated record management metadata. An electronic record management system must be able to search for, retrieve, and render the records that it maintains. This function facilitate usable records. Searching is the process of identifying records or aggregation through user-defined parameters so that the record aggregation and the associated record management metadata can be retrieved. The next one, rendering is the production of a human readable representation of a record, usually to a visual display screen or in hard copy format. Electronic record management system typically contains record in a range of file format. The user must be able to have human readable access to record store in all this format through an appropriate rendering interface. Most of the software application needs a system of administrator to undertake and secure the system maintenance and other support functions such as maintenance of access, group and updating of the business classification system. Administration facilitates a usable records reliable system, systematic practices and the routine application of records management procedures. This document only refers to the management of record administration that must be controlled and auditable to ensure the integrity, authenticity, and reliability of the record. Important of Electronic Record Management in Organization The first one is Creating records in context. Electronic record management system enable organization to capture evidence of their business activity. This involves identifying a set of electronic information to serve as the 
eventual record comprising both context both content and context so in order for information to have the capability of functioning as a record it is necessary to augment that content information with additional data that places it in the context of the business operation and computing environment in which it was created the second one is managing and maintaining records electronic records have to be actively managed as evidence of business activity and to maintain their authenticity, reliability, integrity, and usability. Maintenance of this evidence as record is necessary for operational viability and accountability of the organization. The next one is maintaining record for as long as they are required. Record must be retained for a period of time that is in accordance with authorized legislative and jurisdictional requirements. Decision about how long record must be retained are defined in this position policies and rules. There will be some records that must be retained permanently while others will be required to, to be retained for varying periods or have a maximum retention period. The next one is record management metadata can be configured. To be meaningful as evidence of a business process, record must be linked to the context of their creation and use. To do this, the record must be associated with metadata about the business context in a classification structure. There are four characteristics of electronic record management. The first one is authenticity. A record must be what it purports to be. Organization should implement and document policies and procedures which can control the creation, receipt, transmission, maintenance, and disposition of records to ensure the records creators are authorized, identified, and protected from unauthorized addition, deletion, alteration, use, and control. An authentic record can be proven to be what it purports to be, to have been created or sent by the person purport to have created or sent it, and to have been created or sent at the time purport. The second one is reliability. Contents can be trusted as a full and accurate representation of transaction, activities, or facts to which they indicate and can be depended upon in the course of subsequent transaction or activities. The reliability of the record system should be documented by creating and maintaining records of system operation. This record should demonstrate the system satisfies the criteria as listed below. The first is routinely capture all record within the scope of the business activities. The second Organize the records in a way that reflect the business process of the records creator. Third, protect the records from unauthorized alteration or disposition. Fourth, routinely function as the primary source of information about action that are documented in the record. And five, provide ready access to all relevant records and related metadata. The third one is usability. A usable record is one that can be located, retrieved, presented, and interpreted. It should be capable of subsequent presentation as directly connected to the business activity or transaction that produced it. The contextual linkage of records should carry the information needed for an understanding of the transaction that created and used them. It should be possible to to identify a record within the context of border, business, activities, and function. The links between record that document a sequence of activities should be maintained. And the last one is integrity. The integrity of a record refers to has all the information necessary to ensure its usefulness. It is necessary that a record be protected against unauthorized alteration. Records management policies and procedures should specify what annotations may be made 
to a record after it is created under what circumstance addition or annotation may be authorized and who is who is authorized to make them any authorized annotation addition or deletion to a record should be explicitly indicated and traceable challenges of managing electronic record management Employers need the guidelines to manage all the information resources on their desktop, in their file, and in the computer system which with their internet. Further, they need to determine which of the information resources are required and how much the information is subject to open the record log. Although mandated by the government, the record management have been unevenly implemented with a few agencies devoting a full-time position to the task. Even then, the job of the record management have been revived by the need of to destroy vast amount of the paper rather than to have a systematically control, manage and use information and knowledge of the agency. As the budget have been tiny and the government have been turned to the technology to do more with less, Email, web portals, databases, and other electronic applications have been typically implemented without regret for the managing the information or for ensuring the correction and preparation of the record. The electronic office poses a unique challenge to record keeping. Most essential qualities of the record that is authentic and that is a content is a fix over the time. In other words, people must have a confidence that the record is a what it say it is. Electronic records unfortunately do not instinctively inspire this confidence in the same way like the paper records do. The ease with which electronic requirement can be created, altered, assessed, duplicate, and shared could be dangerous their value as a record. Ideally, it's the most applied aspect of the creating the electronic document are why we gain our confidence in the electronic record. For the first challenge in managing an electronic record is maintaining authenticity. The record provision defines authentic record as a being what they purport to be as a reliable record that over the time have not been altered, changed, or otherwise cooperate. Historically, protecting the paper record from the alterations or change was made possible through a lock file cab cabinets, use of the record vaults, and transfer of the record from the custody of the characters to an independent organization or individual who have a mission to protect this material from changing or alteration. The protection involves an appropriate storage environment, care and handling of the record and controlling the access to the record. Electronic records require the same care and handling in order to protect them from the same alteration or change. However, it is difficult to provide this protection in the production or operation environment where most of these records reside. Information technology professionals will often claim that the use of authentication technologies will ensure the protection of the record. Authentication technologies are used to verify the identity of the user by making sure that users are whom they claim to be. As the internet users continue to grow and more agencies make more services available online, this issue becomes increasingly important to the creation of variable records. When the services are provided via the traditional, non-electronic processes, various authentication methods are used. Customers are required to sign form or letter, present identification number or the case number, or to show their driving license or birth certificate. Most of this method will not work online. As a sample of the online authentication method includes the password, personal identification number, PINs, user's identification, user ID, cookie, biometric encryptions, public key cryptography, digital certification, and a secure socket layer, SSL, and transport layer security, DLS. 
while the use of the authentication technology is critical to the creation of variable data, it's not only part of the creation in challenging managing the electronic record. As long as the electronic record remains in the custody and the control of their character or receive, they are perceived uh, being subject to the change or alteration. Transferring the record from the custody of the character to the custody of the trusted third party is the first line of the production for the truthfulness of the electronic record. The second challenge is rapidly multiply and spread the copy. The tremendous growth in the technology has placed more certificate tools in the hand of office workers. Much of the electronic information be created by government agency, political subdivision, and contractors reside in standalone personal computer and in network computer environment. Most of information is under the direct control of individual at the particular desktop and the information technology staff advocacy the network. This will impact the authenticity and reliability of the company or firm record. There are inadequate record over the correction and maintenance of the record. Electronic. Everyone can create and delete the record, but few only can manage them. Management comprise of the control of the correction, maintenance, then use, and disposition of the record as it will lead to the mismanagement of the record. Records are become more complex to manage. For example, there are several drafts and the final such as unfinished draft or record store in the same place. I just copy my resign on the computer backup, email message back and forth, with a visual draft attached, flopping this or readable CD because individuals took the work home to complete their job and bring to their home laptop or computer. Sometimes these drafts and copies have a stream name or unknown name because the end user will be able to recognize the file. Most of the time, the end user does not take the time to clean up the document copies be before they go on to the next project. In some cases, the records are requested in the open record request or subordinate, such as the end user leave the position or need to clean the house or office when they are trying to boost up the floppy disk and CD where not labor, or sometimes the people come in after them cleaning the house. Maybe it could be the IT department requests workers to delete things for the better performance of the technology. Or the information is lost in somewhere like a virus from others' computer and etc. Properly by management by managing properly managing the record will become more and more important as a record pro life rate. Greater use of the technology means the record manager must become more involved in the life cycle of the electronic created the record. With the rise of distributed computing by the users, record manager and information technologists have found it to be a challenge to retain influence and the control of the life cycle of information be created in the end user environment. Benefits of Implement Electronic Records Management EDRMS and Information System EDRMS is a, an integrated framework that facilitates the development and EDRMS provides the features of record keeping and also handles facts records rather than proof value. The EDRMS contains all the documentation, records, process, practice, equipment, data, information, and individual by which the entity works and fulfill its requirement in order to retain proof of its operation, to preserve its memory, and to preserve its knowledge. Terry could explain the distinction.
the difference between information system and record management system by explaining that information system contain data that is timely, functionally effective, manipulable, and run redundant, which is all data, poor data, and then replaced by new, up to date right data. Record keeping mechanism are exactly the reverse container documents that are time bound and context system functionally unreliable, viewable and unchable until created and outdated all data is not denounced as useful and thus discarded but is regarded as just important and new data. Second of benefit of implement electronic record management is at EDRMS is work technically from at least two viewpoint the degree of to which and EDRM functions they are accurate and they are backup can they be restored after a tragedy for example from backup the second view is regarding their capacity to handle documents independent of their format or arrangement Independent analysis has not been found on the amount of uptime or downtime to be anticipated, anticipated from an EDRMS. Any form of document can be handled by most EDRMS, paper, a textbook, spreadsheet, a database, a web page, and a scan image, a sound, or video recording. The EDRMS a sequence of 1 second and 10 seconds. Zero second store the record uh, p stream. Any model DRMS can handle any form of record from this point of view for management with an EDRMS. However, not all not all of the record form just listed are appropriate. A database, however, is a multi-dimensional object. It consists of a set of table of row and column and of dynamic association in the form of re relationship between those table tables. When it is currently used, the database can often contain particular SQL queries and the view of report they provide. Lastly, for benefit, EDRMS provide interest to organization and EDRMS for a major corporation based on in the South East was launched in 2000. This was automated system for managing paper document based on the general solution wisdom. The platform a new set of rules, processes and protocol and essential user training were included in the new framework. Records are catalog according to accepted and proper classification by the consumer themselves. In parallel, the legacy document was catalog at his level by a team. From using the record center as a dumping ground to using it as information archive, the, the culture eventually shifted. The shift was uh, largely brought about by people being ensured that they wanted it, they were able to find information. What is record's disposal? Records disposal is the process of records either destroyed or retained. Disposal is a range of process associated with Im implementing the records retention, destruction, or transfer decision documented in the disposal authority. These include immediate destruction, retention by the work you need for a specified number of years prior to destruction, transfer to immediate storage for a specified number of years prior to destruction, transfer to record service for permanent re retention, and transfer by record service to for permanent retention. A retention and disposal authority RDA is the document which set out the appropriate disposal action for various types of record. It must be used to retain and destroy the records in accordance with the record management policy and association processes. Electronic records should be disposed using the same rules specified on your records retention schedule as a paper record. It must have policies to control the printed and electronic, official or record copy, account for desktop and mobile device, remember backup tapes, 
it is important of a central file repository. Therefore, simply hitting delete doesn't remove the record. Methods for destroying electronic records. You may think that destroying electronic record would be much easier. A quick press of the delete key and you are done. In reality, electronic records are actually far more recoverable than physical records. The common methods used to destroy electronic records are deletion. This method is the simplest, easiest, and most appropriate method for non-sensitive or non-confidential records. Remember that deleting is the not is not same as destroying the record. It just destroy the access to the record. The actual ones and zeros may continue to exist on the storage medium until they are overwritten and can be recovered using digital forensics. Next is overwriting. A more effective method of destroying electronic record is to use software that, that overwrites the records multiple times up to 10 times the Department of Defense mandate, at least 3 times with string of ones and zeros this makes the possibility that the record can be recovered much more remote than simply hitting the delete key next is the gaussing or magnetic media exposing magnetic media such as tapes and old floppy disks to a powerful magnetic field to scramble the data it may take multiple passes of the magnet over the storage media to make sure the records are properly destroyed. Once this method is used on the storage device, the device can no longer be used. And the last one is physically destroying storage media. Physically destroying the storage may be the most destruction method for the most sensitive confidential records. It may also be the most suitable of destroying records stored on portable media, such as shredding CDs and DVDs, cutting up for old floppy disks, and so on. But remember, don't forget to back up the tape.